Investing is always thought of as a highly intensive activity. When I think of it, I imagine colored stock tickers flying around through screens, young professionals running around the room in a frenzy, and people stuck and glued to their screens watching their money go up and down. But what if I told you this was all kind of unnecessary? What if I said that the best strategy to investing was just to do nothing at all? How's it going everyone? Hope you're having a wonderful day today. My name is Frank, welcome to my channel. And if you're interested in learning how to make money while lazing around to doing absolutely nothing when it comes to investing, don't worry, I'm gonna break things down into three different levels. But first, we need to have some basic understanding of what we're doing and why we're doing it the way we are. So let's jump into it. The general idea with investing is actually very simple. We wanna buy something for $5 and then sell that same thing for $10. In this case, we're talking about stocks. So we wanna buy stock for $5 and then sell it to someone else later on for $10. And in the process, we make money. And there's two basic ways to go about this. We have passive investing, and then we also have active investing. Passive investing, as you can imagine, it, it's in the name, it's very simple. You just sort of buy something and you wait. You let that investment grow by itself. You don't really pay attention to what the market is doing because this is a very long-term strategy. It's not something you buy only to sell a few months later. It's something to buy and then hold on to for maybe 10 plus years. Active investing, on the other hand, is a lot more hands-on, obviously, from the name. It involves you buying and selling stocks or other items of investment, judging by what is going on in the market. So if you think something is gonna do very well, you buy more of that thing. And if you think something is gonna do very poorly, you sell that thing. It takes a lot of research and paying attention to sort of what is going on in the market to educate your decision on how you want to move your money around. And this can be either for short term or long term. Both of these have their pros and cons. And there's actually a very famous case involving both passive and active investing strategies involving Warren Buffett, which I made a video about somewhere up there. But basically what happened is that passive investing won over the long term and this long term being 10 years. And so in this video, we're strictly focusing on passive investing. Again, this is a very lazy investing strategy. And that's exactly what we want because we don't want to be as involved or hands on. So then how do we make money passively while being very, very lazy at the same time? Well, for how serious investing is, it's actually very simple and easy to set up a passive investing strategy all within a few minutes. And all you need is some money and a brokerage account, which you can open up in like five minutes or something. Something like Robinhood, Vanguard, Fidelity, any of that works. So anyway, let's talk about the three levels of lazy passive investing and see how lazy we can get with our strategy. So for level one, we have the Panda. And here we understand the importance and power that index funds get us. By investing into things like the S&P 500, we can actually, in basic terms, spread out our money over so many different companies that we won't really be affected by huge market downturns or huge market gains. But, and this is very important, we can actually expect an average profit of 8% per year if we invest in something like the S&P 500. To take advantage of index funds then, we can send our money off to our brokerage account and then inside of our brokerage account, we can then buy into funds like VFIX, which tracks the S&P 500, VT Sachs, which tracks the entire US market, or VT Wax, which tracks the entire world market. And yeah, they all have super weird names and all of these are Vanguard funds. Uh, funds from Fidelity will sound different, for example. But the idea here is that by investing into these funds, we are spreading out our money into so many different companies that it's gonna be very hard for us to lose a bunch of money at once. Obviously, it's also hard for us to gain a bunch of money at once, but on the long term, we will come out profitable, at least according to the entire history of the stock market. So for level one, just a brief overview, we put our money into our brokerage account and then from the brokerage account, we just buy into an index fund and wait 10 years. But we can be smarter about this and more lazy about this. For level two, we have the Koala and it's basically everything from level one, except we take advantage of a little known strategy called dollar cost averaging. You see, the market fluctuates up and down a lot and while in an ideal world, we would buy in here and it just goes up and up and up, this is impossible to predict. On the other hand, we can have an unfortunate situation where we buy here and then spend the next few months crying ourselves to sleep. Dollar cost averaging is just a fancy term for buying the same investment repeatedly at spaced intervals throughout the entire year. So you buy something every two weeks or you buy something every month, something like that. The idea here is to set it up so that we get the average profit of the entire year, which should be around 8%. We don't really wanna be sitting at our computer watching every little fluctuation go up and down and looking at the market. Remember, this is supposed to be a lazy strategy. So we're just sitting on our money and waiting. We wanna just let it do its own thing. And also timing the market is near impossible, guaranteeing that 8% is what we want to do. Anyways, the way you can do dollar cost averaging is by, again, putting a bunch of money into your brokerage account, something like a thousand two hundred dollars and then dividing that by the entire year so you want if you want to invest every month you set up your brokerage account to invest 
100 of those dollars into a specific fund, let's say VFIX, every single month for the entire year. And by the end of the year, you should get the average profit that VFIX has earned in that year. So basically you set this up and you don't have to look at your investments for an entire year. This is actually the level I'm at, but there's another level beyond this that's even lazier. Level three is the sloth. And at this point we are taking advantage of index funds. And we're also taking advantage of strategically investing our money using dollar cost averaging. But by now we've been manually putting our money into our brokerage account and then the money is invested from there. But that's a lot of work remembering to manually add money to your brokerage account. There's an even lazier way to do this. And that is by setting up auto investing from your bank to your brokerage account. So every month money from your bank from your salary is just automatically put into your brokerage account. And then from there, it's automatically invested every single month. And this can last for basically as long as you want. And by this point, we've basically created such an automatic process that we don't even have to think about it. Everything is done for us and we are investing every single month, kind of like a subscription service like Netflix, except in a few years, we'll be rich. And that's, I think, what everyone wants. Anyways, that's level three, literally the laziest investing strategy in the world that you can set up with maybe 20 minutes of your time and it will last you a lifetime. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful and productive day. Please make sure to smash that like and subscribe button and I will catch you next time. Goodbye.